What's up guys, Big D here from Big D Films. I know it's been a while. I know we haven't done a lot this year, but this year's been pretty crazy. Uh, today, however, we are finally gonna be getting the bike out. And it is just me. Renee was going to go with me until work got in the way. And that's been kind of a theme for the year also. Um, so it is just me. I don't know where I'm going. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, I wish I had a little more information for you, but I don't. So join me for the ride, see where we end up, see where things go. It's an adventure today. Where we go, no one knows. Only the bike knows. So thanks for joining me. We'll see where this ends up. we've been on the road for a couple hours now and we find ourselves in Sturgis Michigan at Hamilton Harley-Davidson um, figure you know what I'm out on the road I've actually traveled quite a few miles at this point it was about time for a stop and what better stop than a Harley-Davidson dealership right right so we're gonna head in here check the place out and uh, where do we go from there I don't know I haven't figured that out yet um, but we're at least going to check the place out, see what it looks like, what they got, maybe another bike. Yeah, right. Anyways, can look anyway, right? Well, guys, um, I don't think they really care for a, a camera in there, so I didn't really have a chance to really, you know, kind of show you around the inside and everything else. But we did take a look. They have some nice bikes in there. We got some other nice stuff. But of course, ba boom! to grab another one of those for the collection of course and that one's kind of neat um, so now that that is done and over with we got to check out the dealership I don't really know what the plan is uh, I think the plan may be food food might have to be a thing I just don't know what or 
where yet. But uh, if you've stuck around with me so far, then I appreciate it. Stick around with me some more, and let's continue this ride. Let's keep going on this adventure. Let's see where the road takes us today. Uh, well, guys, uh, headed down the road just a little ways and ran into a place that I haven't seen in like 20 years. I decided to get some food at Hot and Now. These places used to be all over the place. We used to have several of them down towards home. Now there's only one left right here in Sturgis. The only one left in the world. So we're going to try it and see if it's kind of like how it was that I remember. We got some fries. Got some burgers. Ooh, fries are nice and hot. Let's see if it is how I remember. It's been a long time. Let's see here. Sorry about this camera. Well, I said hamburgers. They stuck cheese on them. So they already screwed that up. So that's awesome. All right. Hmm. Hmm. Hold on. Let me get back to you. That was hot now. Again, I probably haven't been to one in 20 years or 18. I don't remember when the one near us closed exactly, but I was pretty young then. And if it has been 20 years, I believe I've probably had my fix for the next 20. Um, the burgers, I don't, I, I remember them being better than that. I really do. Um, if for being hot now, they, they weren't very hot. Uh, they, they had cheese on them, which I don't really care for cheese on my burgers. But luckily, they weren't that hot. Cheese peeled right off. So, you know, there's that. Uh, the fries were nice and fresh, nice and hot. And the popcorn chicken that they have pretty much saved that meal. But, um, yeah, hot now. Now it's time to go. And uh, I don't know if I'll ever be making a special trip to come back here, but this, this was kind of part of, my, uh, part of my childhood at one point. And, um, yeah, I guess that's really about all there is to say about hot now. We're going to climb back on this bike, see where the road takes us for the remainder of the day.
Well guys, we've been on a little bit of a discovery trip today. Uh, we've went to Sturgis, went to the Harley dealer, <sighs> got some hot now, which was a little disappointing. Along the way, we are currently in Litchfield by the way, and along the way, uh, I've come across a couple of interesting things. You'll see on the action cam as we were riding through, we went through uh, one of the covered bridges. I forget the name of it right off the top of my head, um, but you should be able to read it as we went through there. There was also a little s small Statue of Liberty in at, at a gas station uh, in a little town I was in. Uh, so I'll, I'll show you that picture here. So that was kind of neat, and again, we are currently in Litchfield now, where I've come across this on the side of the road. I actually doubled back around to come and take a look at it. It's pretty nice. Uh, this right here, excuse me. Uh, I got a, a picture of a uh, of the stone that's out there as well. It's got a plaque on it. I'll show that here in just a minute. Uh, actually take a look here look at all this this is uh, it's is pretty neat it's a really fine detail in these stones So, um, got a, a bunch of names and uh, a memorial stone here. Um, again, it was done up very nice. It's just something that I, I just caught it out of the corner of my eye. And I figured we'll uh, stop by, take a look, and... Uh, continue on our way it just again thought it was kind of nice figured stop and take a look we are heading back south on 99 we are beginning to make our way back home it's getting pretty chilly out I had, had to get the leather out too I'm not complaining um, it's better than burning to death so um, I don't know what else we may discover on the way back home, but I wasn't expecting this either. This was kind of a bonus, kind of an extra. So uh, stick around guys. We're gonna jump back on the road here and see what else we can discover on the way back.
Appreciate you checking out this video and joining me on this mystery road trip for the day. I know there hasn't been a lot of content on Big D Films channel this year. Um, I've been doing a lot of other things. I think I've mentioned several times by now. And uh, it's either work or other projects or something. But it was nice to be able to get the bike out and just kind of take a joy ride. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned it earlier, but Renee was going to join me, but she got stuck at work, unfortunately. Um, so I was a lone ranger today, but that's all right. Because it was a nice ride. Um, the weather was a little chilly as it got later in the day, but I'll take that over the 90, 95s, whatever that we've had for weeks and weeks upon end. So I can't complain. It was really, really nice. You know, uh, got to stop it hot now. Uh, I know you're probably sick and tired of hearing me mention it by now, but uh, I haven't been there in a long, long time. I thought it was a little nostalgia stop. And I might just keep the bag for a momento. Once again, guys, thanks a lot for watching this video and supporting Big B Films. Uh, if you like this video, hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel for more content, and you can also find Big D Films on Facebook as well. You can follow that too. So uh, until next time, guys, I guess we'll catch you down the road.